welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here reviewing the overall market. So the market gapped up slightly today and is rallying. To me, this is not a long position. But the fact is you can't deny the market has rallied for the last few weeks. You can say, well, it rallied because of economic data, this thing, that thing. People think inflation has peaked. We can all give an opinion on that. What's very interesting, and particularly if you watch you know, television lately, you can't even watch the news without someone giving you opinion. In fact, my father said this to me, it was last year, he said, gosh, I wish I could just find out the facts, watch the news without someone telling me what to think or giving me their opinion. You know, there's all, it seems that there's just opinion, opinion, opinion out there. Really, at the end of the day, in reference to trading, you could translate anything into a certain opinion. You could say, this is really strong, or you could say, this is really weak. You could say all kinds of different things. How do you know what to do? How do you know what position to take a stock or the market or invest or trade long term or short term? Do an option, do a trade. Hey, how do you know what to do? Something short it, sell it, go long? You look at the technicals, technical analysis, price action. Price action supersedes everything else. Because at the end of the day, if you're looking for opinions, you could always have someone tell you that something looks great, even if it looks like crap. In fact, let me try to think of something. Let me try to think. Let me try to think of something right now that would really just off the top of my head here. Just kind of make my point. Peloton. Here, this is Peloton. It's in a steep downtrend. If you look at it today, you say, "Oh my gosh, it's so strong today. We rally today. Look at this. It's." Let's go long and it's moving, it's scooping, it's making higher highs and higher lows. Oh my gosh, it just ran up a dollar plus. This is so strong today. I would never buy this ever, <laughs> at least anytime soon. But obviously, someone's buying it today. Stock's rallying. You know, I don't think this is short covering, could be a little short covering. But the point is, the technicals do not have this matching up to be a long trade or a good long, okay? So this is rallying today with the market. This gapped up today with the market. For no other reason other than the market, this stock is super duper, super duper, super duper weak. And that's the reality, based on the price, based on the price. But again, if you look at opinions of people, people could say, well, fundamentally, Peloton is hit a low and it's hit the bottom and it's, you could say all kinds of things. When you're looking in to make decisions with your money, with your hard earned money, you've got to look at things as objectively as you can, all right, obviously you're gonna have some kind of bias, but if you're watching a lot of TV, and if you read a lot of stuff, you will definitely be affected or your bias will depending on where you're putting your attention, all right? So, and people may be saying things and giving you opinions that it may not be accurate. When I look at something, I try to step back and look at it as objectively as I can, you know, and not go into it with a bias. Like I get up in the morning and I look at the gap and I say, okay, let me go through and I'm just gonna rate this whole thing and I'm gonna rate it and I'm gonna be as objective as I can because objectivity helps you to take a step back, look at something, and again, you're not in the position. You're not in this. You're not in whatever, whatever. I mean, I could pick something else, but it's the whole point where if you can look objectively at what's happening in the price, it's gonna help you make better decisions for your money better decisions what to trade, more accurate decisions whether to go long, whether to short, whether to sell, whether to buy, because a lot of times things are opinion, 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 opinion. You know, there are people, again, on TV that have stock shows where they give their opinions. I'm not going to name anybody's name specifically here, but you know the people that I mean. And lots of times they give their opinions about things and they're wrong. So I use a system it's objective because I'm using the criteria. The criteria either total 26 points or they total over 20 points or they don't total over 20 points. So you follow the system, which is looking at the gap, rating the gap, looking objectively at it and not just basing something off of a decision that you hear on TV or even something about fundamentals. Because again, that could be opinion based. You would look at the fundamentals and say, based on this, I think that where you're interpreting it. There's there's no way to interpret the price here other than the fact that the Qs right now are trading between 328.25 and 328.27, between the bid and the ask. 
That's, there's nothing to interpret there. That is the price right now today in the QQQs. That's it. We all see the same price line. If you've got electronic data, you can see it right now. These are milliseconds within seeing the same price that we all see. So that's not something to argue about. That's opinion. That's a fact. Whatever the price is, is the price at the second that we see it. So do you understand what I'm saying with this? When you're looking at, at when you're looking to make a decision, any chart, anything you're doing, the best thing you could do for yourself is to look at it objectively. So that's one of the benefits of using my system is it helps me to do that each and every morning. I rate it. I rate the gap. I rate bullish gaps. I rate bearish gaps. That helps me to determine what to do by reading the price action. That's how you do it. Otherwise, you can really get sucked into opinions and you can make a lot of wrong choices in reference to your trading. Anyways, good luck, everybody. If you're interested in more information on learning my Golden Gap system, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next class is August 27th to 28th. Hard to believe, but there's only four more classes uh, between now and the end of the year.